Hello everybody, WingRabbit here, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be looking at the gameplay footage of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I'm pretty excited for this. It basically came out of nowhere. I want to say it was like the day before there was just this random announcement saying, hey, there's going to be some gameplay footage for like 10 minutes, come check it out tomorrow. And I did not get to watch it live, you know, full disclosure. But I did have a friend who I think must have watched it live because they messaged me on Discord earlier. Super excited about what they saw, which makes me excited about what, you know, it's going to be in this. Because so far, this game has been really mysterious. I don't really know anything about it. And I don't know. We don't really know what's going to differentiate it, if anything, from Breath of the Wild. So getting to see some gameplay stuff sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to look at the video. I'll have some commentary. Maybe some thoughts at the end. We'll see how it goes. But for now... Let's dive in. Hello everyone. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. Alright. First, I have some news. Development on the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is now complete. Okay, so it is complete. That's good. Thank you very much. Oh, dang, I think they were working on it until like basically the end, right? That's Many crazy. Many of you are looking forward to this game. And we've released a few trailers so far. I guess so all the trailers have Although been like really vague. Be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually play the game for you all today and show you what it's like. All right. Okay. Let's begin. Right. Here we are in the land of Hyrule. A, Link definitely like has the that of Zelda, of the Wild, look. There's a vast world where his arms infected and stuff. He has like tattoos course, and stuff. It's not just the same world as it. Interesting. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out for yourself when the game launches. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it still. They're still being very like, In crazy. Game, the vast I don't want to reel anything. Reaches high into the sky. Oh, that's cool. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. We call them Sky Islands. You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? That's true, actually. I didn't really thought about that. I mean, you have to start somewhere, right? If we take there? a look... Oh, something's falling from the sky. Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. Like a meteor or something? We're almost at the spot where the object fell. Alright, so we still have stamina. We still have the climbing capabilities. Here it is. Still have a huge map. Okay, let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell... Oh, what? Look, it started rising. Okay, that's pretty this cool. This power is known as recall, which rewinds an object's movement. Since I just used recall oh, can you do to fall and like, rock, enemies? I can now rise into the sky. That would be cool if you did to enemies. To the just sky. rewind them and keep messing with them. Let's use the paraglider to reach one of them. Yo. Okay, there they had promised... Sky islands floating here, too. Yo, they had promised verticality... It looks like they're delivering on verticality. That looks really cool. Yo, there are that's lots cool. of ways to reach the Sky Islands, so we hope you'll try a few different methods. All right. Okay. Now we're on a slightly bigger Sky Island. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. Yeah, it seems to be Link's new look. The green with like one of the arms torn off and like the tattoos and all that. That seems to be like his it's signature look around. for this if title. If you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. Oh, is there going to be durability? Let's I know continue. a lot of people have been asking about that. Let's see if they took durability oh, away. Something's there. This is a brand new enemy called a construct. Oh, yeah, it looks weird. It has we'll like a fight it using the little we eye. Ah, the yeah, this is your ability. Some people are going to hate that. I, I like it. Some people are going to hate it. Branch and we defeated it. Moving on. Okay. We've now explored more of this Sky Island. <laughs> it just says that we saw none of it, but whatever. Fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Yeah, I wonder if that's like a dungeon over there. Also, that looks really big to the side over there. Broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here, and do this, look, we can stick them together. Yo! We created a makeshift hammer. No way, that's cool. Fuse. 
You can stick Aww, objects cool. together to create new weapons with various effects. That's let's take on dang, another construct. That's creative. Weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. So I wonder if that's like their answer oh, to durability. Like, yes, things break, but definitely since you can stick everything together. <laughs> the other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. That's cool. You can it's do weird. all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. Damn, I wonder what else you can fuse you can together. Fuse two weapons, for example. Oh, I was about to ask. Take this long stick and fuse it with a pitchfork. We can create a weapon oh my with God. a much longer attack rate. Yes. I want to fight enemies using this, like a thirty foot pole. To enemies, yes, and we can safely attack. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. I want to have you like either like a thirty foot sword, or like a thirty foot inventory. pole. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. What the heck? Fuse an ice elemental material to an arrow, and you can freeze far away enemies. Dude, they're going all out with this. Very useful. That's crazy. In addition, hmm, let's see. That is... Uh, they're really stretching around. what you can do with... If like, you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an fusion. arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, okay. at times like these, here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. Oh, let's Fuse zoom in. To an arrow and... Is he going to zoom in? Look, it homed in on the target. It homes, dude. Let's try this on another. That is super cool. It homes in. I'll just fire in that general direction. That's very simple. Oh man, the AI Depending looks good too. Together, the fuse ability could also be beneficial for hunting. Dude, that looks awesome. Like you no longer have to have like accuracy. You can just I do like. Used a mushroom to my. That's shoe. so cool. Now you're probably wondering if this has any use. Is it like well, a poison? This mushroom is actually a puff shroom. Let's Will fight an enemy. Poison with this. an enemy, or like what's gonna happen? I blocked with the shield. Okay, there's smoke now. Oh my god, the smoke screen. Link, so, attack! Oh my god, dude! Even if you struggle with combat, you can take down enemies. They're going all methods. out to let you like really. In the previous game, you usually think get powerful weapons by your way through. That is crazy. But in this game. Fusing even the weakest weapon with something else could turn it into a useful <laughs> Oh, it looks so weird. There are even more gameplay options for sticking things together. Let me demonstrate. That's crazy, dude. Some of the Sky Islands even have rivers. I wonder how many things you can stick together. We'll can you just like this one, stick 20, 20 things together? It. Well, Call the them an item? Too wide for that. We need a boat. Of course, there isn't anything that resembles a boat around here. You can probably make your own raft so, with the logs or something. We'll lift up this log and attach it to a second log. Let's do one more. We'll bring this over here and attach a third log. It's a makeshift raft. Huh. This is another new ability called Ultra Hand. Yeah, it's crazy. Even though the logs are the green. attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. Yeah, it's like a weird glue. Point everything together. You can always attach things or detach them like this. They still now, though like put this on the water, why does like have these powers wood, though? So the buoyancy will like, keep I don't think they've been in any game We've before. So like where are these powers coming from? It's so weird. However, like, I'm even more curious about the lore now. So we'll need something to propel it forward. I mean a leaf or something, I guess. Hmm. There's something here. Let's try hitting it. Oh, it's a fan. Oh, wind. Yo, there's just it's fans the in the wind. wild. That's cool. Looks like we found a fan. Why don't we try attaching it? Huh. So is it going to be a little, like, little speedboat? Is that what it's applying? We'll attach another one. That's cool. This should make the boat well balanced. Dude, that is freaking awesome. Like not only does this look good, but I'm even more curious about okay, the freaking. Okay, they're attached. All right, let's try it's moving the lore boat. now. Like, why? Hey, why this thing has this moving. power? This is nothing we've seen before. It's sailing pretty fast with the wind from the fans. 
That's cool. Since we added two fans, called Ultra we Hand, should huh? be able to cross the river in no time. Ultra Hand. And then there was right. reverse. We reached the other I mean, side. Rewind. Interesting. In the most recent trailer, yeah, they showed that. Showed scenes of so that's how you make that stuff. That's cool, dude. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able to freely craft them on your own. Nice. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. Yo, and I can't wait to just like use your have my own like, sky fortress, them. just flying so, around. Try crafting different things and explore this world at your leisure. Dude, that is crazy. There are even more new abilities. That's Take this nuts. building over here. Okay, watch this. Oh yeah, yeah, they showed that in one of the trailers. Right through the ceiling. That's cool. This new ability is called ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through. Yeah, he like swims up. That's so to weird. The floor above you. Huh. There can you use that, like, some restrictions, anywhere? but what's great about this ability is that as long as there's a ceiling, you can use it anywhere. Yeah, I was going to say, because he used that, like... For example, this place has a cave with a hill right above it. If we use the ability here... Let's see. Come He's on. literally swimming. Keep going. That's weird. Okay. We emerged at the top of the hill. Oh, oh my god, that's crazy. In the previous game, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top without having to climb all the way up. Dang. Here's another example. Imagine you're stuck in a cage. If it's got a ceiling... So I'm you guessing do, right? you still need stamina, exactly. but in order to like really oh, cheat it, there's another construct. you can probably super like holding a strange weapon. jump through stuff. That's crazy, dude. Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Oh man, they've really upped the AI. Ah, it blew me away with wind. The fact that they have fused weapons too? It looks like it's got some sort of fan. That's not So like, I want to say they super ah. like... I got pushed <laughs> off. Oh, crap. Nice. Oh, well, let's just return to the surface. Dang, dude. It looks you like you really are going a lot with this. The surface like this. Like AI. It and... feels so good. Oh, that's crazy, In the dude. sky, you'll be able to look out across the land. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. Jeez, the Once you've chosen your huge. destination, you can speed things up. Like this. Yeah, see, that's that Skyward Sword influence. Let's dive into this river. Some of that stuff just has that Skyward Sword influence. And we're back on the surface. There are still so many things I'd like to show you, but oh let's God, leave it at dude. that for now. I can't believe that's all they're going to show. Like, it feels like they barely like, scratch the surface. What did you think? Holy crap. Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. Yeah, I could tell. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking... Wait, if you could do that, then maybe you could do this too. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking of some stuff. In this game, you can do a lot of things just by thinking about what's even possible. Damn, dude, that's crazy. There's still a lot of new gameplay. Like they're literally and letting you use your imagination today, to the max. But they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your imagination to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Damn, dude, I'm blown away. Like just that wasn't like, from what I saw. Like I feel like they didn't even show us anything. We still know nothing about the story, why he has these powers, what the extent of the powers are, and just based on those ten minutes, I already feel like it's like a whole new game. Oh, uh, anything else? Oh, okay, I think they're showing off that. I'm guessing it's like a new switch. Yeah, I'd heard it was like a leak. It was gonna be like an exclusive uh, switch. God, I kind of want to buy it. It looks really good. Yeah, see, see, like, they haven't explained what's up with the Master Sword yet, damn it. Yeah, that's shown that before, though, this stuff. See, like, that's a different outfit, too, from the one he was wearing. Ah, oh, weird. Dang, that's a nice-looking Switch, though. That's... That's Cash Money right there, damn. Okay. It's, so, like, right before the game comes out, like, a, a few weeks or whatever, yeah. Damn, that stuff looks legit, dude. Alrighty, and that was the uh, little gameplay direct, or whatever you want to call it, for Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild sequel, you know, which is called Tears of the Kingdom. 
And I am blown away. You probably heard me say it throughout the video, but I'm just like, super impressed. Like, dude, I feel right now, like before going in, okay, um, I don't think there's ever really been a bad Zelda game except for, I don't know, maybe like the really like old ones, like what, like Zelda 2, which people complain about, maybe like Triforce Heroes or whatever, that was kind of iffy. Uh, but besides that, I wouldn't really say there's a bad Zelda game. I think all of them are really good in their own way. They're all special. Um, with that being said, though, I was a bit worried that like, okay, we know nothing about this game. What if it just ends up being kind of like a big expansion pass to breath of the wild not that that would be bad you know i don't think that would make a bad game but i was kind of worried that like you know why aren't they really showing us anything uh i'm still worried about the story don't get me wrong i still really want to know what's happening story-wise will they deliver on everything they seem to be promising about it being like a huge lore huge implication of like a big event that we're going to witness you know uh but that aside though the, that gameplay looks so good that I feel like the story can honestly, like, totally suck. It could totally tank. And this game would still be worth playing. Like, the gameplay is that innovative and that, I don't know, that crazy where let's use so much imagination that I feel like even if the story did bad, not that I wanted to, but even if the story did bad, I feel like the gameplay would make up for it. Because that gameplay looked incredible. Like, dude, like, when he combined the arrow with the eye and it like homes in on an enemy, like that is amazing. That is incredible. I could totally see myself using that. The weapon combining is awesome. I totally want to make like a huge 30 foot weapon and just use it to like wall up enemies. That sounds awesome. Um, those vehicles and stuff you can create are awesome. I want to make like my own sky fortress. Like, I don't know how many things can stick together, but, like, I would love to make like, my own Sky Fortress flying around the universe. I mean, hell, if I could defeat the final boss by dropping the Sky Fortress on his head, that'd be awesome. But, like, it looks like it's really letting players use their creativity and just go wild. Like, in the original, there was already so many things you could do. Like, so many ways to approach things like, creatively. And this, it just looks like it's going above and beyond. So, I am impressed. I think the gameplay looks great. I think the world looks huge. Like, they definitely are expanding it. So, it's not just the huge world of Hyrule, but it added, like, verticality to it, which is like a whole other dimension. And I don't know. Everything about this just looks really good so far. I'm still worried about the story. I've said it before with Legend of Jonathan. I don't know. I would hate for them to once again just throw Zelda out of the story at the beginning. I think that would suck. Or I think it would suck for. Once again, it would be like, oh, you have to fight Ganondorf again. There's something special to it. I would have liked some sort of a twist or something. I know they had hinted Skyward Sword was going to come into play. So if anyone who's played Skyward Sword and seen the last boss for that, I think you know what I'm getting at. I would like to see something a little different. You know, a little bit changes to the formula. But heck, at the least, at the very least, the game looks great. And wow, I am super, super impressed. And I really want to play this. I'm super excited. Like, I was excited before because I love Zelda games. But now I'm even more excited. I'm super hyped. That looked awesome. And, man, I kind of want to get that Switch. My Switch is still 100% working. It has no issues. But, man, that new Switch looks awesome. It looks really cool. I'm super tempted to get it. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my look at the gameplay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hopefully, you guys are also excited for this game the way I am. Let me know below what you think in the comments. Are you excited? What do you want to try out? What do you think the story is going to be like? Etc. Just go wild. Let me know all your theories and stuff. And until next time, this has been Wee Rabbit. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.